Hey there, it's the Cascade Hiker, and uh, I'm here in Shropdale, Oregon, currently, and um, <clears throat> as you can see, um, it has been raining recently, which is pretty normal for June. Um, today is the 9th, I believe, it's a Friday. Um, I know that for some time it was sunny, but recently it's been going back to rain, which is more typical of June here. Um, a squall just passed through, like just one of those little storms, you know how sometimes you got rain, it's just kind of sprinkling, and suddenly it gets really hard for a few minutes and then it goes away again, because it's just these little cells, storm cells I mean, not like blood cells, that just move along and drop rain or whatever as they go. But uh, one of those just passed through, and I think another one might be coming right now because if I look over to the west, then I can see very little. All I can see is the neighbor's houses, uh, some trees, and after that it's just clouds. Now to the north, what you're seeing is, of course, you can see those flowers near the middle of the screen, the brown house and the blue house, and right above the brown house where those uh, hills are, that's as far as I can see. Um, yeah, I think I think another squall might be passing through because the rain is getting harder again. But um, a few minutes ago, when the squall, the other squall was just passing through, you couldn't even see the hills over there. It was just <coughs> it was just clouds, and you couldn't see past the neighbor's house, or if you could, you could barely see. So today, the visibility isn't really all that great either. Um, looking to the east, uh, let me see for a second, because I haven't really looked over, it's kind of hard to from this window. You can see not much from the east either. You can see a little bit over the trees, and then after that it's kind of just clouds, here, I'll show you for a second. Right over there, these clouds here, or excuse me, trees. That white building above that's the trees, after that it's just clouds. Here to the west that I was mentioning earlier. Um, you can see these trees over here, and then just clouds. And uh, I don't have a view to the south, there is no southern window, so I couldn't really look to the south, but I'm guessing it's just clouds too. I heard some, like, squeaky thing. I was wondering what it was, so I paused for a second. Anyways, as you can see now, that hill that I was mentioning earlier above the brown house is fading and the clouds are getting thicker. Yeah, see, you can you can barely see it. I can actually see it just barely if I squint my eyes, but you know, on the phone here that I'm using, and yes, I'm using a phone if you're curious, but whatever, I can see the hill fairly well, but if I look out through the window because of the bug screen, I can't see it as well as you can. But yeah, the clouds are getting closer and another squall is coming. However, what's odd is now it looks like the sun is kind of barely peeking through because if I look at that flagpole on the left side of your screen, um, it kind of looks like the sun was shining on it, but it doesn't really look like it anymore. But yeah, I was, um, uh, no, it kind of does look like the sun's out, but yeah, I was just, uh, gonna make a video that was showing how the storms are working lately. There's been, it's been a real mix this month. Um, it's been the first quote-unquote normal summer of the well, but for quite a long time, because of the El Ninos and all that crazy stuff, it was really affecting us for a while. And all we were getting was just bone dry summers, and winter was kind of not really getting that much either until le this last winter when we got Winter Storm Jupiter and all that, which can be seen in some other videos on my channel. Um, but we got a crazy, crazy winter, probably the worst since the 2008-2009 storm season, which was pretty nasty in itself. But I think we might have even topped that this past winter. Now this spring, 
after that crazy winter, the weather's pretty much returned to normal, or so it seems. As I've stated a few times before already, um, the weather has been sunny, kind of, for a few days at a time, and I'm, it's got, got pretty hot, you know, 70, 80 degrees, and now it's back down to 60 degrees and rainy. So, you never really know what's going to happen this time of year. You kind of expect rain, but then sometimes it's extra warm, or sometimes it's extra rainy. You just never know. But with June being the start of summer, of course we're not there yet because it's only the 9th, but um, <clears throat> with summer coming up, the weather's going to start getting better. So this is probably one of the last storm days that we're going to get this year until fall comes and the rain starts again. But I was just going to want to warn you that uh, the visibility isn't really that great at the moment, or at least it wasn't. I, it looks like the storm is kind of cleared now, but I bet you in just a few minutes there's going to be another one coming through because it's been raining on and off all day. It's just been kind of a hectic weather day, especially for this time of year. I mean, it's kind of usual, but on this level it's not very common. I, well, it is, but you know what I'm saying, kind of, is that because we're so used to June now being hot and no rain, it just doesn't feel normal anymore to have rain in June. Because we haven't had it for the past few years, or at least it feels like it. But that was what the video was about, so thank you for watching. Um, I just wanted to let you all know that uh, the roads probably, you know, don't have that great a visibility and that you should all be careful out there. You know, if you're planning to do anything, you probably shouldn't because it's going to be rainy, unless it's something indoor, but, you know, on the roads on the way there, then they might not be so great. So, thank you for watching. And as always, stay warm and stay safe.